Hi, this uh, quick tutorial um, shows you how to use uh, SymPy inside uh, an IPython uh, pack uh, session. Uh, usually we start IPython with the minus minus pylab option which automatically loads the matplotlib and the mympy um, functions and methods into the interactive namespace. Um, we also want to use SymPy, uh, and in order to separate out the namespaces, let's import SymPy, um, sorry, SymPy as SP. Okay, so all the SymPy functions and methods are now available via the SP dot um, uh, namespace. For example, uh, in order to get started, let's define, declare some SymPy uh, variables and functions. Uh, we only need maybe one uh, for the moment. Um, so X is supposed to be a, a SymPy symbol. Um, sorry, so symbol. Okay. And uh, so we declare that. So you can see that I used sp.symbols in order to access the symbols method provided by SymPy. Uh, through this alias sp uh, dot. Uh, or likewise, let's define a function, uh, declare a function uh, variable um, symbols of sorry f comma. And now we have to say you are a function. You are a, a, a simplified function uh, in this way. Okay. Okay, now let's go and uh, define um, an expression or, or, or a function to work with. And we're just making something up. Uh, we want to maybe use an exponential, but we have to be careful here. If we try, for example, something like this, this would not work because uh, exp is the uh, numpy exponential that is inside uh, the IPython namespace, interactive namespace directly, because we're using the IPython minus minus pylab um, this, um, uh, session here. So what we have to do is we have to define f as sp.exp of minus x uh, times x uh, squared, and I'm just making something up here, maybe divide this by 1 minus sp.log of, uh, of x. And note again here how I've used the sp. Dot, uh, prepended to the function um, to make sure that I'm taking actually the sympy log and not the numpy uh, log. Uh, OK, uh, so now we have our f. And uh, maybe we want to look at it, uh, for example, using the pretty print option, uh, which we can do in this. Okay, so it's two P's, pretty print. Um, and this could also do, for example, integrals. Just I'm just showing off here uh, the plotting uh, capabilities inside your terminal here if your system is set up correctly. Uh, okay, so now the question is, can we plot this function? And uh, of course we can, so we're using the plotting package inside SymPy. Uh, so the plotting package prepended by sp. sp. And then actually um, we use the plot out of the plotting package. Um, and we just say what we want to plot, we want to plot f. And uh, as a function of x uh, within the range 0.5 to one, um, and then close all the brackets, and then uh, SymPy is using matplotlib here as the backend to uh, provide us with this plot. Okay, great. Now um, we have the plot, uh, but maybe we also now have some data. Uh, maybe we want to use the function that we have derived in order to put in some data points that we have measured or work with it in a numerical fashion. So how do we do that? Um, 
In order to do that, we need to turn the symbolic function f into a Python or a numerically accessible uh, function. Uh, and so uh, there, there are two ways um, to do functions in Python. Uh, one is a very uh, quick and easy uh, way, the lambda form or a lambda function, which are small anonymous functions. Uh, for example, I could say ff equals lambda, uh, then I say what the variable is x, colon, say maybe I want to do it squared. Now I have a function that I can evaluate, and it gives me just an x squared. Uh, so one way to establish our function here would be just to copy and paste um, this into here. And uh, if I now evaluate this function ff, um, I get 0 0.179, and we can check 0 0.7, 0 0.179, that seems to be okay. Uh, I can evaluate the uh, function, the sympy function as well, uh, using the substitution method. And I would just say what I'm substituting, and I would be substituting x for 0.7. Um, this is a little bit more um, awkward maybe, but the reason for this is that I can use the substitution method in a much more powerful way because I can also substitute terms by other terms. For example, um, say I want to substitute x by x squared, uh, that give, will give me a symbolic expression uh, of um, that substitution, which I can then use later on for uh, further manipulation, algebraic manipulation. But if we want to use uh, any SymPy function for numerical work, it's probably useful to turn it into into, say, a lambda function. And the way we have done it here is just by doing copy and paste. That's maybe uh, not a, a, it's an error-prone way to do this. So we, there should be another way, and indeed there is. Um, there is a, a SymPy function provided by the utilities package um, that is called the lambdify function. Okay, and we can uh, create that by using utilities dot lambdify. Okay, and so what are we lambdifying? Well, we're lambdifying uh, f of x, and the uh, syntax here is uh, this. So we say the variable, the independent variable, and the function. And so now, uh, this here is um, the same as f, f actually, and uh, we can check again, we can figure out what's in there. Um, the, the nice thing about this is that now we can use, uh, on top of that, um, for example, num the numpy vectorize function in order to allow uh, also vectors to be um, uh, processed by this function in one in one uh, command. So for example, uh, let's set up a vector for an x array. Uh, one way to do that is to use the, the linspace command. Uh, by the way, we can check quickly. Uh, again, you can see here linspace is also just off offered by uh, numpy. Okay, so let's uh, set up a linspace of um, x, x, Sorry, 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 it's in space. From, from 0.5 to 1, and I want to have maybe uh, 15 steps. Okay, and now uh, I want to evaluate the lambda function. For that, I vectorize the function um, in this way. Okay, now this is my vectorized function. Now I say what the argument is, is it's xx. Okay, and let's put that into an array. So this array yy is now the evaluation of this vector xx of our um, lambdafied sympy function f. 
Um, let's pretend that uh, this is, uh, let's noise this data a little bit um, by um, applying a little bit of a random uh, noise to this, and maybe we can do this by uh, transforming this yy to uh, yy times um, what, 1 plus, uh, and then we have this factor here, r, which is 0 0.1, or it could be 0 0.2, this would be maybe the spread uh, of this uh, randomization, it's like a box uh, put over there, uh, times um, the r times 2 times random, and then we need a, um, an area here that is of the same. So this is an area of random numbers of the same length as um, yy uh, minus 1. Okay, so we have uh, noised this data a little bit, and so now we can plot uh, this over our function that we plotted already in the previous SymPy uh, plot. And let's give this nice dots and see how this looks like. Okay, so now this is a matplotlib plot of data uh, that we have randomized a little bit. Um, uh, and then, uh, but we use the, the SymPy function uh, landified and overplot. Okay, uh, last step, let's save the figure. Uh, and that's it. Here is our function. Great.